the lone wolf, the quiet person, the one that doesn't like to be the center of attention, the person that likes to speak when they feel safe, to contribute when they are sure they won't be laughed at. Does this sound like you? You see, the Sigma female is a unique breed. She's the one who stands out in a crowd, not because she's the loudest, but because she's the quietest. She's the observer, the thinker, the one who's always in her own world. She's the one who's not afraid to go against the grain, to forge her own path. She is the empath, the one that will roar and defend anyone from a bully. She is the one you can depend on, rely on and trust. Does this sound like you? Sigma females are often perceived as lone wolves. They don't need the validation of the pack to feel complete. They are fiercely independent, comfortable in their own skin and unapologetically authentic. They walk their own path, guided by their own compass, and they don't need approval or acceptance from the crowd. But being a lone wolf doesn't mean they are antisocial or lack the capacity for love and connection. Far from it. Sigma females are deeply introspective and often have a rich inner life. They have a deep understanding of themselves and others, and they value deep, meaningful connections over superficial ones. The lone wolf does not want to live on their own forever. They want to feel needed, respected, loved. But until they feel safe, until they are with someone willing to take the reins, to take control, they will remain the lone wolf. However, being a lone wolf also means that they often feel misunderstood. Maybe at times you feel misunderstood, I wonder. And perhaps as you are not the typical extroverted alpha, nor are you the compliant beta. You, my friend, are the enigmatic sigma, the one who dances to the beat of your own drum. However, this can make you feel at times as if you don't quite fit in. But here's the thing, the strength of the sigma female lies in her independence, but even she desires companionship. She yearns for a connection that's as deep and meaningful as she is. She wants a partner who understands her, respects her independence and loves her for who she truly is. The Sigma female, a lone wolf in a world full of followers, but even she desires companionship. After all, even the lone wolf hears the call of the wild and yearns to find its pack. The journey may be a solitary one, but the destination is a shared one. And that's the beauty of the Sigma female. She's a lone wolf, but she's not alone. Your mind is a powerful tool capable of attracting love and happiness into your life. Let that soak in for a moment, for it is not mere whimsy. The mind is a potent entity, a force capable of shaping reality. And for the Sigma female, an independent and self-reliant individual, harnessing this power can be a game changer. Consider the law of attraction. It's the idea that our thoughts, both conscious and subconscious, can affect our reality. It's like a cosmic order service. You place an order with your thoughts and the universe delivers. Now this isn't some magical, mystical concept. It's about aligning your thoughts and feelings with the things you desire. For example, if you're seeking love, it's about fostering thoughts and feelings of love within yourself. But how does this work exactly? Well, our brains are like magnets pulling in experiences that match our thoughts. So if you're constantly thinking, I am not worthy of love or I will never find my soulmate, guess what? That's the reality you're likely to attract. Now let's flip this, my lovely. Imagine if you filled your mind with thoughts like, I am deserving of love or my soulmate is out there and we will find each other. By doing so, you're creating a positive energy that draws in those very experiences you desire. At the end of the video, I'll give you a few sentences to repeat with me. This is the concept of manifesting love. Sending out focused positive energy. It's about cultivating a mindset that is open to love and ready to receive it. It's about believing in your worthiness and in the existence of your soulmate. And for the Sigma female, who is often so focused on her independence and self-sufficiency, it's about allowing herself to be vulnerable and open to love. Remember, your mind is a canvas and your thoughts are the paint. You have the power to create a beautiful masterpiece of love and happiness. Don't underestimate this power, embrace it. Harness the power of your mind and watch as love unfolds in your life. The journey towards love begins within you, within the power of your mind. So my Sigma female, are you ready to wield this power? The words you tell yourself matter. Negative self-talk can be a barrier to love. 
Let's start by acknowledging that we all have an inner critic. This is the voice in our heads that can often be overly harsh and unkind. For Sigma females, this voice can sometimes be louder and more persistent, creating a barrier between themselves and the love they deserve. Imagine a scenario where you're interested in someone, but instead of being excited and hopeful, you find yourself thinking, I'm not good enough for them, or they'll never be interested in someone like me. This is a classic example of negative self-talk. It's self-defeating and can prevent you from taking steps to form meaningful connections. Another common form of negative self-talk revolves around past relationships. You might find yourself thinking, all my previous relationships have failed, so why would this one be any different? This kind of thinking can keep you stuck in the past and prevent you from embracing new opportunities for love. Negative self-talk has a profound impact on our self-esteem. It's like having a constant drip of negativity eroding your self-confidence, making it difficult to believe that you're worthy of love and happiness. This, in turn, can impact how you approach relationships, often leading to self-sabotaging behaviours and missed opportunities. However, it's crucial to remember that negative self-talk is not a reflection of reality. It's a distorted perception of ourselves and our worth, fueled by our insecurities and fears. Now, you might be wondering, how can I stop this negative self-talk? The first step is to recognise it. Pay attention to the thoughts that come up when you think about love and relationships. Once you're aware of these thoughts, you can challenge them, replace them with more positive affirmations, and start to change your relationship with yourself. The journey to finding love starts with self-love, and that begins with the words you tell yourself. So be kind to yourself. Speak to yourself as you would a dear friend. Encourage, uplift, and believe in yourself. Remember, the words you tell yourself shape your reality. It's time to shift your mind, don't you think? Isn't it time to break down the barriers and open yourself up to love? Picture a garden. Your mind is this garden and your thoughts are the seeds. When you plant seeds of negativity, you produce weeds. But when you plant seeds of positivity, you cultivate a garden of beautiful blooms. This is the power of positive self-talk. So how can we shift our mindset from negativity to positivity? It starts with becoming aware of your thoughts. When a negative thought arises, recognize it, but don't let it take root. Instead, replace it with a positive one. For instance, instead of thinking, I'll never find love, try to think, I am open to love and it's on its way to me. Now let's focus on self-love and acceptance. It's easy to forget that before we can truly love another, we must first love ourselves. This isn't about being selfish or narcissistic. It's about respecting and appreciating yourself your strengths and your weaknesses. It's about knowing your worth. When you love yourself, you set the standard for how others should love you. So how can we practice self-love? It starts with acknowledging your achievements, no matter how small they might seem. Celebrate your victories. Forgive yourself for your mistakes. Embrace your imperfections. They make you uniquely you. Next, practice self-care. This could be anything from taking a long bath to reading a good book to just taking a moment to breathe. Remember, it's not about indulgence, it's about nourishment. And finally, speak kindly to yourself. Your words have power. Use them to uplift, not to tear down. Instead of saying, I'm not good enough, say, I'm perfectly imperfect and that's okay. This shift in mindset, this acceptance of self-love, creates an aura of positivity that attracts like-minded individuals it's like a beacon drawing your soulmate closer to you. Shift your mind, accept love, and watch as your soulmate comes into view. Now that you've shifted your mind, you're ready to call in your soulmate. Let's dive into the process. The first step is visualization. Imagine the kind of person you want to share your life with. What qualities do they possess? How do they make you feel? This isn't about creating a laundry list of traits, but about understanding what you truly desire in a partner. Next, use positive affirmations. Speak these desires into existence. Say to yourself, I am ready for love. I deserve a partner who respects and cherishes me. Feel the words resonate within you. Finally, believe in the power of attraction, like attracts like. By embodying love and respect, you attract the same. It's not magic, but a simple principle of the universe. Remember, this process takes time and patience. Don't rush it. Let things happen naturally, and you'll see the remarkable results. Believe in your power to call in your soulmate 
and watch as your love story unfolds. You are a Sigma female, a lone wolf, who is ready to find her pack. Throughout this journey, we've discovered that the power of the mind is a formidable tool. It's not just about negating the self-doubt and destructive chatter, but replacing it with positive affirmations and self-love. Remember, the way you converse with yourself shapes your reality. Shifting your mindset towards acceptance and love has transformative powers. It's about opening your heart and inviting love to settle in. You're not just capable of attracting your soulmate, you're worthy of it. In the end, it all comes down to you. The power to call in love and find your soulmate rests within you. Embrace it, harness it, and let your lone wolf find its pack. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe to my Eternal Stoicism channel. And don't forget to hit the little thanks icon below this video if you found my content informative. Any contribution will always be gratefully received. Any contribution of any domination helps my channel grow. Thank you for watching, and remember, you have the power to call in your soulmate.